hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to crochet this awesome bucket hat that i'm wearing it was actually inspired by a bucket hat that i saw on cotton on website and i decided to take a video while creating one so that i'll be able to share with you if you ever get a chance to recreate it yourself in the same color or a different color from mine please please don't forget to take me on your socials because i would really really love to see your creations i'll be giving more details in the video so let's just get right into it for this tutorial we are going to need a pair of scissors a four millimeter hook tape measure dunning needle as well as a 150 grams of cotton yarn this yarn is 50 grams so we're going to need uh, three three balls of yarn and this is 100% uh, pure cotton from the specific brand kismet yarns um, so i'll be using three balls to make up the 150 that's all i'm going to need to make my hat we are going to start by making a magic ring chain one then make eight half double crochet into the magic ring Then pull this tight so that the ring can close off. Um, if you want, you can make sure that you crochet on top of it so that you don't have to sew in the ends at the end of the project. Then from here, we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Then chain one. After chaining one, we are going to make an increase. This is the second round. This is an increase around. So in each and every stitch that we've made, we are going to do two half double crochet. That is an increase. We had eight half double crochets in the first round. This is the second round. We'll make sure that you have 16. Make sure that each and every stitch has two half double crochet in it after chaining one then we are going to go into our first stitch and make two half double crochet this is an increase we call it an increase two one two one two so continue doing this up until the end of the row make sure that you have 16 half double crochets Make a slip stitch into the first half, into the first stitch. Pull it tight. Chain one. Then in our third row, make one half double crochet into the first stitch. Then an increase. One double, one half double crochet then an increase slip stitch into the first 
stitch of the row we're going to move into the fourth row chain one make two half double crochet then an increase one half double crochet then into the next stitch another half double crochet then make an increase Okay, I'm gonna try to explain here just so in case you feel like you've made a mistake I hope this is visible enough so where you made your increases in the previous round you will see when you're on the round that you're currently working on the increase will still be on the in the same space so now we've made our double crochet here and and the the the, the row before it we had a double an increase like half double two half double crochet and then we, let's continue and do one our two half double crochet then we have to do our increase so our increase will happen in 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 in, in the stitch where we did an increase in the previous round so like that's the only that's the the way that i use to check if i'm still on track or not and then the other tip is if you've started with a single crochet you will end up with an increase when you start with single make sure that by the end of the row you have an increase if you start with an increase you will end up with just one single stitch so i started with a single uh, one half one one half double crochet that i will in, i ended up with an increase then i'm definitely sure that i my counting is correct then close off your round or your circle with a slip stitch then chain one this is one two three four fifth one two three four okay the fifth round in the fifth round we are going to do three half double crochets then an increase two three and then an increase remember this is how i see it i made an increase here so the increase will come above it one two three then an Close your round with a slip stitch by inserting your hook into the first stitch of the row. So basically you're going to follow the same pattern, the same pattern up until you have a circle that will give you a diameter of um, 6,5 inches 6,5 inches where is that tape 
Um, I'm not sure where I put my tape, but keep on going, increasing your rounds like that up until you have a circle that will measure about six and a half inches. So I need to make sure that when I measure this, the diameter here, it will give me six and a half. So far I have three and a half. So I'm going to continue up until I have six and um, six and a half. For me, six and a half, it's just the normal standard uh, for most heads so if you feel like um six and a half it's too small you can increase and whip one extra round and make seven inches so between six and a half it, uh, six and a half and seven inches that's that's how long your diameter needs to be so I'm going to continue this in the background and come back when I have enough rows. So we're going to take our measuring tape and check the diameter and I have six and a half inches. If you feel like you need a head that's a bit loose or just bigger you can increase and do one more round it will be probably about seven to seven and a half inches it depends on how loose or how tight your head is but like six and a half is what i normally make for bucket heads it's just a standard normal uh, size for heads so from here we are going to do in from in each stitch we are going to do one half double crochet no more increases this is not an increase round because we are done with the base of the head so we are no longer going to do increases just make sure that you put uh, uh, one half double crochet in each stitch because now we are done with the base i normally put my what's this uh stitch marker just to uh, mark away the what way I ended with the base so that I be able to measure the I don't know what they call it I'll call it the body of the head so that I'll be able to know where I need to start measuring the body of the head before I make the brim so I will just mark it with a stitch marker you can use anything to mark um, the first round of the body of the head uh, depending on what what you can use you, if you have like a safety pin you can also use a safety pin and put it here and then continue doing this round up until you have a width of about four four inches it has to be four inches so i will continue doing this as well in the background because it's very much repetitive there's not nothing new that I, I need to show or share with you so do this you can pause the video as well and do this in the background and then we will meet each other when i have four inches i will measure it with you guys so that you see I've added extra rows so I'm gonna take my measuring tape and check if I have four inches so this measures about like four inches remember I put that stitch marker here so that I can be able to see where I've started my first row of the body of the head or the height I'll call it height or body so this is about four inches wide or four inches four inches in height and then if we have to measure it from the top here let me put it like this if we measure from the top here it will be about seven inches uh 17 17 or let's say between 17 
yeah six make it 16 between 16 and 17 inches from here we are going to continue and do the brim of the head so you're going to chain one after slip stitching you chain one then from chaining one we are going to do our half double crochet only in the front loop remember this is a stitch or we can call these things chains so this is the back this is the front this is the back this is the front we are only going to work in the front only so you're going to make a half double crochet in each and every stitch and then we are going to do an increase into the uh, into the 11th stitch so we're going to do 10 half double crochet and then into the 11th stitch we are going to do an increase so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then into the eleventh stitch we're going to do an increase then we're going to do ten more half double crochet in the front loop only don't forget in the front loop only I'm gonna show it again so okay this is not focusing I'm not sure okay so this is the front loop this is the back loop like this is a chain as a whole or a stitch but it forms a chain honestly it forms a chain so this is the front this is the back so you are going to just insert our hook and work only in the front loop okay i'll have to stop here only because i need to join my new yarn i need to join my new yarn because that other one is just finished so i'm gonna show you guys how i join my yarn let me do this so I take the end one end that's here the other end of the other wool Continue doing this up until the end of the row. Ten uh, half double crochet and then in, increase up until the end of the row. We've reached the end of the row, the first row of the brim. So please take note that even though we did ten uh, half double crochet and an increase, when you're about to reach the end, like you might have less than that. So after doing uh, an increase here I was left with about with like five stitches here so I made four half double crochet and then I made an increase here so it doesn't it, it honestly doesn't matter so you might end up with like um, six stitches seven stitches as long as the last one you just make sure it's a double regardless of how how many a half double crochet you're going to make here it doesn't honestly doesn't matter so from here you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the row then chain one then continue to do your half double crochet so the last 
row we did 10 now we're going to do 11 and then an increase and then you're going to do the third one do 12 and increase and the fourth one you're going to do 13 and then increase and then we'll meet each other then So we've reached the end of the fourth row where we did 13 single crochets and an increase. Thirteen, yeah, 13 half double crochets and an increase. Um, then we are going to do a slip stitch and then one chain. Oh, chain one and then half double crochet into each and every single stitch of this round so no no increase round here so you're going to do half single crochet up until the end of the row so we've reached the end of the row where we were not doing any increase slip stitch chain one and then we are going to do um, 14 half double crochets then 14 half, 14 half double crochet then an increase So this is the last row for me um i wanted a brim that measures about two inches so um, yeah after making the last stitch please make sure that you do an increase on the last stitch i've already cut my yarn um so this is how i ended and I'll show you how I close. Let's see. It's too bright. Okay. I hope you'll be able to see so. So I'm going to take my measuring tape and just show you that the brim is two inches uh, wide. So it's up to you if you want, if you feel like yeah, you want your brim longer, continue doing your increases and make it as long as you want it to be. But this is how I prefer it.